welcome. My name is Philippe Perret, I'm the Managing Director for OIS Group, uh, Middle East and Africa. A quick introduction about OIS Group. We are a Swedish group, uh, founded a, lo a long time ago in 94. Uh, 20 plus offices in EMEA, about 500 people plus. 8,000 hotels uh, using at least uh, one of our 16 products that are completely dedicated for hospitality. We've got two offices in Middle East and Africa, one in Dubai and one in South Africa with 30 people. And uh, we've got in Middle East and Africa 700 uh, hotels plus uh, using at least one of our products. We built the whole suite in the last 20 years for hotels dedicated to software for IPTV, website room management, PMS, access to internet, content management, digital dashboard with AI, mobile key, our own door locks, all our products that we are selling are our own product that we build and integrating along the years. So what uh, we are seeing these days is uh, really a kind of a new trends that uh, an acceleration of uh, moving from a physical to digital world. A lot of uh, software are basically used uh, and moving to digital, so everything is uh, paperless and uh, becoming uh, integrated more and more. We see everything connected as well, so uh, every bit uh, piece of device uh, is connected to the network and sending information. All uh, is becoming, becoming more and more digital whatever these days. Everything is sensing, so you can see that uh, in, a, in a room, in a hotel, you've got sensor for the doors, sensor for temperature, for humidity, for light. Uh, there is uh, sensors everywhere to see uh, where you are in the hotels. So everything is sensing and sending in more information about uh, the rooms, uh, the hotels, the people uh, in the hotel, the staff, everything. We see a lot as well now uh, everything becoming more and more smarter, which is the last stage. So gathering all this uh, digital information that is created and uh, really applying some algorithm to uh, build some uh, some uh, some reports or some uh, this year to some data to support decision from management to improve the guest experience and as well the operation efficiency of the premises. But it brings some challenge as well. I mean, uh, all this data that is created, if you uh, look at uh, based on the different vendors or based on the different location and regulation, the data is very a lot uh, more complex than before, a lot difficult uh, more to aggregate and to analyze as well. So that's why you've got the help of big data and intelligence, in, intelligence artificial to help you to, uh, to draw some, uh, some conclusion to uh, all this information that is uh, pulled out of the devices. Uh, before COVID, we were seeing a lot of hospitality uh, priorities, and uh, that were the, the, the usual ones. So uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, priorities before COVID that were about uh, uh, LPA, all about uh, improving the guest experience and the efficiency of the hotel. Uh, and making sure that the, the customer was coming back uh, and leaving a good uh, a good feedback after after his, his uh, journey into the hotel, and that has been the, the, the priorities for many many years now. And uh, using technology, but as well using a, a personal dedicated service uh, uh, through the reception or through the staff in the hotel. With the COVID-19, I mean, we've seen some uh, some new impact and challenges. I mean, the hotel occupancy and revenues have really decreased. We've seen that. The guest expectations have been completely redefined and more focused on health and safety first, and to be confident in the hotel being able to deliver that. Traveling in the new normal will look and feel completely different, and the guests uh, are now expecting a different experience or a different uh, a uh, way to be welcome and to uh, to be served in the hotel. Maybe it will be uh, coming back to as we knew before, but uh, it will be certainly a change. We've seen a lot of impact as well on, on renovation and uh, delay in the new builds as well, due to staff mobility, due to uh, budget as well. Uh, a lot of projects have been pushed back uh, and uh, it, will, uh, it will delay over renovation and the improvement in the hotel. This is due to a liquidity, liquidity limitation because, I mean, all, as the revenue is going lower, basically the liquidity for the owners are getting lower as well and the projects are put on hold. All these have created some challenges for hotels and hospitality market that uh, we as a software vendor are trying to help the hotels to overcome as well. 
So this impact and the challenges have created some new priorities for uh, for hotels. And uh, basically, I mean, the new priorities are really to restore the confidence and to make sure that uh, all the guests and uh, customers are really happy to come back and uh, really uh, feel confident that the hotel is, is a safe place to be. So uh, really to ensure the health and safety is, a, is one of the top priorities for the hotel. Of course, the hotel needs to generate revenue and more revenue and to find new ways to generate new revenues and as well to reduce the cost as well of the operation to make sure that the margin, because they need to invest more in the health and safety, the margin are still secure and uh, they are still operating on, on, on a margin to be able to reinvest in the guest experience the years after. So as a software vendor, I mean, uh, for the hospitality market, when the COVID-19 uh, uh, struck us, I mean, uh, we really thought out about all our products and uh, decided to uh, invest in it and to change them. So we, we created a program called Phoenix, uh, really to see how the, the hotel could use our technology and the overall technology around to overcome the impact of COVID-19. Uh, COVID this technology was already there. We modified some product, we added some new products, but with only one goal to, uh, to make sure that these new priorities for the hotels were really uh, answered by, uh, by the technology. And we had uh, about uh, 1,000 plus hotels where I signed up to this program to uh, improve uh, the way they were doing things and to change the way they were doing things. So how do we help hotels? I mean, uh, we created three program, three sub program, one to restore the confidence. And it's really about uh, sharing information, uh, putting in place some thermal cameras, uh, really uh, creating some task list, automatic, automated task list for the staff to make sure they don't forget any, uh, any important task in terms of health and safety. Uh, using a task management software that uh, we provide to the hotels. So really giving them the tools to quickly reopen in a safe uh, environment. And uh, it, it, it's really uh, one of the first uh, thing that uh, the guests will be looking for when they go to hotel is to feel confident that uh, there is no risk for themselves. Second one to generate revenue. You know, we we uh, implemented and created some new uh, new additional uh, software, so, such as gift card online, to help the hotel to generate upfront revenue, uh, while the guests can enjoy later on the services. So it helps with the cash flow for the hotel while creating new revenue and promoting as well some discount. Uh, we allow as well the, the guests to book online uh, so they don't have to go through booking.com. So uh, basically it helps the hotel as well to keep the revenue within their own uh, PNL. Really helping as well to uh, use all channels available uh, for uh, to promote their uh, food and beverage menus, for spa menus or any item they want to sell to a guest or to promote to a guest. They can use now their IPTV to, pro to use that and just uh, the, the customer can safely browse and check uh, and buy uh, through, the web, through the web interface and the TV to be able to, uh, to book all of these uh, services and products. And the third one is uh, really to, cre to create a touchless experience, which is uh, really, need really needed to make sure that the, uh, the, the, the guests are confident in the, what the services are provided and they got less interaction uh, with people or physical devices. So we move all the, for the, the book uh, and paper, uh, food and beverage menus and uh, the directories on the IPTV. Uh, so the guest can browse uh, nicely from uh, from his uh, from his TV without having to touch any paper. We provided as well uh, online check-in and a check-out uh, from our PMS, so the guest uh, can as well do that uh, online without any interaction with the reception if needed. Uh, we created as well a mobile phone application to replace all remote controls in hotels, so the guest again can just use his own device to browse TVs and to. Uh, to use the menus and to book uh, spa sessions or uh, a restaurant within the hotel. And uh, as well, the, the door locks and mobile key application that will help him to, to avoid the hotel to provide cards that are 
uh, a potential risk uh, for the safety as well and the transmission for the virus. So all of this, I mean, have been created really to uh, to uh, use the technology that was, what was there to modify it to really enable guests and uh, the hotel to uh, to have a safe environment where everybody can uh, still enjoy uh, their time on premises. So. Out of our 16 pro products, I mean, we really try to look at uh, every aspect of our product. So, as I mentioned, I mean, uh, we've got the dashboard that really help uh, the hoteliers to get all the latest KPIs on COVID-19 in their region and uh, be able to monitor if there will be an impact uh, on reservation, for example. We've got a content uh, management system that is centralized over uh, several properties. If you've got several properties and across all the systems that are connected for the content management system, so you can really share information and urgent messages across all systems for the TVs from uh, your uh, connection on the network on internet uh, for every mean uh, possible from the hotel, including digital signage. We really uh, are helping as well the staff to not to forget anything. So our task management system really help uh, in, in this aspect. Uh, the gift cards help you to generate revenue. Uh, the safety measure on the digital signage are used as a reminder for all the guests to make sure they don't forget that uh, the virus is still active and they, uh, they can't uh, uh, things as before. Uh, we, uh, as I said, we moved all the directories and all the paper uh, uh, information onto our uh, IPTV system as well. The remote control is completely uh, using their own mobile system. The door locks, uh, sharing information on the hotel service mobile portal. Everything is being made in order to provide a safety and uh, restore the confidence in the guests. And that's really where the technology can help hotel because by achieving that as well, you improve the operation efficiency of the hotel and help saving costs because the, the hotel staff can focus really on the important things while the system can take care of the, all the alerts and the management of all of these aspects due to the COVID-19. So it's really important for, uh, for hoteliers to uh, take, uh, to make sure that they use correctly the technology and the software technology we are using is really helping them there and not the opposite. We see so many times that uh, technology is not a help but a burden. And it's really important to make sure that uh, at every step of the way, the technology is an enablement to the safety and not the opposite. Example of, co of a COVID operation package, for example, I mean, there's a lot of videos that we prepared, consultation for hoteliers, uh, really for us to share as well the experience we've got with uh, over, over customers and prospects uh, to, uh, to see how they overcome these uh, difficulties and what are the best practices in other hotels. So it has already helped as well some uh, across uh, all our region to really create some groups of, uh, of discussion between hoteliers and to facilitate this information spread and uh, to help them to uh, fast reopen and making sure that uh, uh, the guests were, will be happy as well after that. Thanks a lot for having, uh, attending this uh, presentation and uh, do not hesitate uh, to contact me if you've got further questions or if you want us to, uh, to share the best practices and uh, the recommendation uh, uh, we did give and we did get as well from uh, over Thursday where we implemented these improvements. Thanks a lot.